now the water temperature is a lot warmer, we want to know what the dissolved oxygen level is in our ponds before we start feeding. Now it's warming up real fast, so the fish are starting to feed more actively, they're using more oxygen, and the general oxygen demand of the pond is going to be much higher. So you want to know before you put your food in what, oxygen, what the oxygen level is, because if it's too low, then they're not going to feed and you're just going to contribute to the drop in oxygen. Um, so we use our, probably our oxygen meter every single day now, this time of year, before feeding. Like I say, you want to you know what, what the oxygen is at the first light in the morning when the oxygen's at the lowest. This bit of a double-edged sword this time of year when, when the, you obviously the warmer, oxygen, warmer water holds less oxygen than cooler water and everything's more active, so it's actually using more oxygen this time of year as well. So, with, as you can see, my oxygen, I've had this for probably four or five years. I've not had to calibrate it, I've not had to change a battery, and I've used it every single day this time of year. Really reliable piece of kit. And you can probably tell the difference between mine and a new one. See, it's been good nick, and mine's in a hell of a mess. But it gets used and abused, and it still takes an accurate reading today. Uh, we always measure in milligrams per litre. I won't feed in anything less than three and a half milligrams per litre, maybe. Uh, I'll cut it right down if it's dropping down towards that level. And then below three and a half, I'll stop completely. I don't want to be contributing to any sort of oxygen drop. Um, and then we'll start, if it gets, starts to drop below three, is when we'll start to sort of uh, keep a close eye on it, testing regularly. And if we need to put get more oxygen in there, then we'll turn the aerators on. Um, but yeah, this, this, like I say, is the most useful piece of kit. You, you can't go about one this time of year. You, you'll learn so much from just testing the oxygen every morning and seeing how much it comes up and down throughout the day uh, and at night uh, with, your, with your algal blooms and the respiration of your weeds. So yeah, it's, it's a real useful piece of kit. One touch of a button, it's, it's on, it's, it's reading oxygen, so you can't go wrong with it. A really reliable piece of kit. If it needs calibrating, you'll get a message on the screen telling you. And uh, we'll just show you how to use it quickly. And, uh, just want to get in the water if you can and just keep the probe moving. Wait for the temperature to settle down. And once the temperature settles down, it sometimes takes a couple of minutes. Once you've got it out of water temperature out of the bag, out of the air temperature, sorry, out of the bag, you want to just let it acclimatise to the water temperature. And once it's settled down, that's when you'll take your, your oxygen reading and your temperature reading, if you like. And at the moment we're reading 7.98 milligrams per litre of dissolved oxygen and 19 degrees. So that's perfect for temperature for feeding. So we can put in sort of 3 to 5% body weight today. Uh, that's a really good, good feeding environment. And uh, like I say, it's just one touch of a button and you're reading oxygen. You just, you just need to keep the probe moving. You don't touch inside the actual probe, the actual sensor. You leave well alone. That's, uh, that's what will be the only thing that will mess it up. But, um, so you leave that alone. Like I say, just keep the probe moving and just take a reading. Oxygen, don't know if you can make that out on that. It's about 8 milligrams, 7.98 milligrams per litre, which is 86% saturation, but we don't take it off saturation. Milligrams per litre gives us a much more comparable reading for what we need to know. 